Hadil. Hadil. Hadil is nine. Hadil was nine. Officials said, Israeli officials said they regret her death. But terrorism must stop, rockets must stop, resistance must stop, or they will continue to shell Gaza until we surrender the bit of dignity we have left. Until we elect who they want, sign what they want, and die in silence the way they want. They smile and regret death as a casual accident and regret how Palestinian children die in a collective torture chamber, Gaza. Israeli security is absolute, written with blood and bulldozers and the art of women spokespersons. Because death is softer coming from a woman. Death is more polite coming from a woman. And who, who will tell Hadil's mother, busy baking bread and za'atar, that doves will not fly over Gaza again? Doves will not fly over Gaza again. God died. At her feet, Hadil is gone, and her brother Ahmed lost his sight. Hadil, every prayer I remember and half remember won't bring you back. Every prayer I remember and half remember won't bring you back as you wrap yourself in stories of Palestine. Gather the other children to cry a while, waiting restless for the next soldier to knock down your door. But the Gaza sky, the Gaza sky still rains US-made shells to cast us out of a history we carry on our backs. Hadil, who, who will tell Hadil that we went out for coffee and carried on the day she died? Nothing stopped, not a pause, not a tear. Next meeting, next cigarette, next train. Check email and sigh over another Palestinian gone. Is this worth a press release? Maybe not. Solidarity from afar, like a sick joke, a bad story to tell a child. But the doves, the doves will not fly over Gaza again. The doves will not fly over Gaza again. Hadil is gone forever gone no final words just a void in her mother's heart just a void in her mother's heart and they say they say don't cry for martyrs don't cry for martyrs carry on the fight carry on the fight carry on the fight but for hadil for hadil give me a moment of silence give me a moment of silence no give me a moment of sincere resistance sincere resistance so we can hold on to the bit of dignity we have left. So we can hold on to the bit of dignity we have left for Hadid.